afternoon Dave here all you soup fans out there in YouTube land I tell you I've been uh, I'm anything but organized so I was watching um, some uh, videos and boy there's some guys out there that are really really organized so I'm trying to get organized this is my new um, chisel organizer uh, I mounted uh, a um, post vise right here, like some post vise. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do, when I go to the shows, try to do a little uh, blacksmithing demonstration. And uh, I need my chisels and punches and, and different things. And so I'm trying to figure out ways to set this stuff up so that it comes out really easy to use and uh, really haven't did too much on the deck you know I um, got a little burnout on that so I'm doing these other things did get another uh, dog leg support and it really really stiffened it up this uh, I actually put a couple in the middle and a couple on the end down here and uh, it helps a lot I mean we were kind of swaying in the breeze up there and we've stiffed up quite a bit now so now it's just up uh, I still got to build some outriggers and stuff but we are moving along I'm uh, gonna put my forge right here where this little table is this messy little table and then where this little table is I'll put my slack tub so I'll have my forge here slack tub of course this will not be here this is a an old um, Harbor Freight standby I've had this so long that when I bought it at Harbor Freight they were $39 or, or $29 or something like that and I think they've like doubled or so has and everything. So, going through all my parts, and I have um, really a, you know, a lot of junk. It's all good junk, but uh, I have a bunch of uh, top switches, handled uh, top switch, and of course the the uh, hardy tool, the bottom switches. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to put a, a, a similar to what I did here. Just put a a receiver right here. You get some um, odd angles here with this tubing. It works out all right. I just kind of stove piped it in there, and uh, it's pretty stiff. That's the way I put my uh, angle vice post vice here it's uh, it's pretty stiff I actually yank on it so the, the whole trailer moves so we're stiffed up there too and I think what I'll do you know I kind of was spending so much time working on that but I just kind of neglected everything else and now that I got away from it I, I got that um, uh, I-beam up there in there with my my little uh, chain fall which I really like that little chain fall it's a nice one pick up more than I ever want to pick up but uh, now that I'm down here I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount another uh, uh, post vise right here I mean this outside here is gonna gonna be when I go to the shows it'll be all um, a blacksmith shop out here and I'm going to try to set up a workflow um, to make things uh, readily available the, the reason I did this was that I'd been watching a lot of the great YouTube blacksmiths they've been uh, uh, hammering out skulls and, and uh, dragon's heads and, and I think I want to do, do something like that and it takes, you know, 
four or five half dozen chisels get your little chisels I got some here this one it would make a good little uh, eye it's an old chisel a little bit on the rusty side but uh, I got this one I made this one here man had to be back uh, in the early 80s could have been um, 1980 I made this for uh, eyeballs because back in back then I was uh, trying to do um, dragon's heads poured some but I've been watching these guys are really good uh, really like uh, Thack that guy is an artist genius with metal and he showed me a lot of things so I'm going to set up here and uh, see if I can I'll copy him I know it, it won't come out as good but uh, I'll have fun doing it and uh, yeah so I got my ideas there the ideas are running through my little pea brain and uh, all I got to do is <laughs> make these ideas work come into reality this is this is my little forge that I'm gonna that I'll be taking to the show and uh, this is my slack tub that uh, I built this thing back in the late 70s that's so what this this forge here was my first one it was about the same time and uh, actually this my my little 400 pound anvil I, I think I got this probably really early 80s maybe 80 81 or something but this was my first forge as a rivet forge and uh, if you guys did any forging out there you're going to know that uh, a rivet forge uh, you're going to struggle to heat your metal up it's made for heating up rivets <laughs> so this one here this one's going to do me right I've already been using it doing some twists but what I think I, I want to do uh, some of those uh, uh, animal heads that does a really really fine skull and uh, what I want to do is put them here. Now this uh, actually OSHA requires uh, support or a handrail in between uh, on each step. I think you got a, a minimum size, and that's why I put these little. Uh, man, I can't see nothing holes. Actually, in every step, I drilled a couple holes, and everything's all evenly spaced. So they're they're uh, half inch, and I'll work it out so that uh, I'll put some twists and and maybe the uh, heads, animal heads or something on top, and give me something to do, keep me busy out here. Apparently, I'm I got plenty to do. I. I got about 15, 20 projects going at the same time. I guess that's why I never get nothing done. But, but uh, I enjoy myself coming out here and uh, firing up the old uh, welder. I I wanted to show this. Actually, I built this, and if you see this, this piece right here, will actually was on the end, and I just felt like it kind of went out too far. And I'm going to put my uh, my ha handled tools over here. I don't want to run into each other. And I think this looks better. It's pretty organized. Way more organized than what I'm used to. But if I can uh, keep getting this, keep working on it, I'll uh, slowly get this mess up off the floor. All these little pieces and everything are pieces that I'm cutting and welding. I'm this this right here, these here, I'm gonna cut those into six inch pieces. I'll put little pockets up there, and each one of those will hold a umbrella. At this point, I'm thinking about putting three umbrellas up there. Uh, in the future, who knows? Because uh, uh, when I go to the shows. It's a lot uh, out at the Amador County Fair, 
It's the last weekend of uh, July. And if anybody's been in the valley in, in uh, the summer, California Valley, you'll know that um, it never fails to uh, hit, I don't know, at least 104, 105. And maybe even a little hotter. So umbrellas, uh, fans, uh, air conditioning, swamp coolers, cold beer, all that stuff is uh, a definite necessity out there. So I'm just trying to get everything set up. I may have to put a umbrella down here while I'm forging. One thing nice about forging in 104 degree weather is it's easy, it's way easier to get your metal hot and it doesn't cool off as fast. So get, get more pounding time on it. All right, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.